Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Shear, and I am going to help you with your math lesson today. We should be on lesson 1-2, and we are going to be working with making 6 and 7. So, since I am not at school, I chose to use pennies as my math manipulative. If you are at home, you can use pennies, buttons, goldfish, whatever you can find to count out or help you with counters. So you can use anything for a counter. We're gonna do a couple of practices before we go ahead and go into our lesson. So let's do a few together first. So we wanna make the number six or seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and Put a few pennies outside of my little, we're gonna call it a cave. And then I'm gonna put some inside my cave. And then we're gonna count and we're gonna fill in down here in number one, how many we have inside and how many we have outside. All right, so how many pennies do you see inside our little cave? One, two. Very good, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write my name first. So I have two inside. How many do you see outside? One, two, three, four. All right, let's go ahead and do another practice. Okay, just like we did on the last one for number two, we wanna count how many pennies are inside the cave and then how many are outside? So how many do I have inside? One, two, three. How many are outside? One, two, three. All right, for both of these numbers, what did we make all together? Let's count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's do one more example together. pennies do I have inside the cave? Just by looking I can see that there are two inside. And then how many do I have outside? One, two, three, four, five. So we made five, six, seven. Great job boys and girls. I want you to go ahead and turn to your next page. We're going to read the story that goes across the top and then we'll go ahead and get started on our guided practice. So it says there are seven crabs in all. That means there are how many crabs all together? There are seven. Okay. Some crabs are inside the cave. Let's they tell us there are this many inside. Let's double check. One, two, three, four. All right, we're gonna keep reading. Some of the crabs are outside of the cave. So that means they're not inside the cave. They're not in the hole right here anymore. They're on the outside. So how many are outside? One, two, three. So we said there are four inside. One, two, three, four three outside, one, two, three. How many were there in all? There were seven. Let's go ahead and practice this together. Okay. All right, so looking down here at number one, they've done the first one for you, but let's go ahead and read through it. We have one, two, three are inside the cave, so I'm going to trace that. How many are outside? Count the ones on the outside. Three. And then how many do we have in all? Three and three make six. All right, let's look at number two. How many crabs do we have inside the cave? That means they are in the hole. There are 
two. Good job. How many are outside of the cave? Looking at that, I see one, two, three, four. And then how many are there all together? If I'm not sure what two and four make, I can count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's try one more. How many crabs are inside this cave? Good job. How many are outside? One, two, three, four. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crabs in all. It says, what is another way to show seven using tiles? Well, I don't have tiles, but I have pennies. So we can just come up with any other way to make seven. Here I show two and five make seven. So you can have two and five, and that makes seven in all. All right, good job. Now on this next page, I want you to do these on your own. You're gonna do four, five, six, and seven on your own. You're gonna see it says write the number inside and outside and then write the number in all. So you're doing the exact same thing. You're counting how many are in, how many are out, and then how many there are all together, okay? And last but not least, here is some problem solving. I'm only gonna do number eight with you. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you may do nine and 10 on your own. This is kind of like our, we understood everything on the last pages and we're gonna really challenge our brain here on the back. So let's read number eight. It says, solve the problem below. Ben put some toy trucks inside the box. He put four toy trucks outside the box. There are seven trucks in all. How many trucks did Ben put inside the box? Okay. So it tells me he put some in the box. I'm not sure what some means, but we're gonna figure that out. How many did he put outside? Four outside. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna draw squares for trucks. He put four outside. So there's my four trucks. Now I need some inside to get to how many in all? Seven, all right, so. Let's see here. I have one, two, three, four. I need to get to seven. So I'm gonna keep drawing trucks until I get to seven. Ready? Five, six, seven. How many did I put inside the box? You got it. Three trucks. And you can try nine and 10 on your own at home. Boys and girls, you did a great job today.